Bay and my baby Big Bobby B on our YouTube station and FB page, Food for the Soul Media Group. And you guys, don't forget to like our social media pages, would you? On FB at Food for the Soul Media Group, and I am Talitha Kume and Big Bobby B. And on Instagram, Food for the Soul Media Group, I am underscore Talitha Kume, the real Big Bobby B, and Orle underscore worldwide. And subscribe to our YouTube station. So can you guys believe that it is almost 2024? We started our Christmas special during the pandemic in 2020 just to bring people some joy and some good cheer. And we are four years in and we are loving and living life, you guys. Now, if you are not celebrating this year due to whatever you have going on or what you're feeling, kindly go ahead and stop watching us right now now because we're just doing this show just to like I said spread a little bit of cheer and to have some fun but before we get started we are looking for 2024 sponsors you guys to help us keep doing what we do which is pouring into people giving you news you can use discussing the hard topics and continuing to show you that you matter and more and anything helps please consider donating you can cash app us at Food for the Soul, or PayPal us at Food for the Soul. And please, you guys, remember to share. Share, 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 and share. Some and more. share. Yes. And we're back. And uh, I got some cool things to talk about. She got some cool things to talk about. Yes. We got some cool things to talk we about. We do, we do, we do. Some cool desserts to introduce and this beautiful drink. Mm. I hope Talitha's not too drunk by the end of the show. And then so I am excited and scared all at the same time so you guys if you are just tuning in sit back and relax and enjoy our special t and b's christmas with friends yo and so bobby and i i don't i, I, I want to talk about kind of what we did all uh, this year 2023 i'm i'm not um I, you know, it's on my mind. My mind is kind of bad. I don't remember what happened, so I'm kind of it kind of breezed past to me. Like I feel like it went very quickly, but it went slow at the same time. So I don't even remember. What did you what What did you get into last year or this year? I just got into sound design and learning it properly. Okay. I spent the entire year doing that. Okay. And last year, because I remember looking at the tax returns from last year, mm -hmm. and they were about as pathetic and young as it sounds. Be quiet, Bobby. So, yeah. Okay. Earlier this, you know, this season, all it used to feel like ice blue peppermints, mm -hmm. um, muddy snow, mm -hmm. and leftover desserts for the week after Christmas. enjoyed this past year, this past 2023. A lot of good things happened for me. I am loving my work. As you guys can see, when I when I do post, I post a lot about uh, what I do and I absolutely love it. I love going into the world. I love playing the events. I love being in the community and giving back. So that's one thing that I've been doing this year and stepped up my game, got a little bit of a promotion a little bit, so I've been doing really well with that. All of 2022, we were working on uh, the documentary for my dad. It's called The Last Temptation, and we are finally finished, you guys. So we will be hosting a red carpet premiere next year in Dallas in April 2024. So stay tuned in for that, and we will show you a trailer at the end of the show. And um, like we said, we finished the documentary, so I was excited about that. And then I actually, last year when we did the show, I was letting you guys know that I was going to start the I Am To Leave The, I was going to start the I Am To Leave The Kumei podcast, and I absolutely did. So if you guys, if you guys have been following us at all, I, I had a podcast and it was called Intimate Conversations. And then Bobby and I did a podcast together that was a Monday Night Special Review. 
And so when we came back, Bobby was kind of like, okay, I kind of want to stick to music. I don't really want to do radio podcasting anymore. And so I decided to branch out on my own, which was really scary. But, um, and I, I changed the name of the show because I really wanted to encompass everything that is me, everything that I do. And right. the I Am Talitha Kume show is the essence of who I am. I am Talitha Kume, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. And so I Am Talitha Kume started, the I Am Talitha Kume show started in February of this year. And uh, we are going on a year and we hope to be back next year, if God says the same. And uh, we want to give you some you know, and, and have some awesome guests. But I know Bobby is not about to take off that microphone in the middle of us talking. Anyway, we'll be right back in a little bit because we got to talk about some gifts. So last year we talked about to celebrate or not. And we are choosing to continue to celebrate Christmas, but in a way that truly just celebrates family and giving. Yeah, yeah. Every year we're talking about a cool list of gifts that you should give people on Christmas. Yeah. That's if you're still shopping. And if that's still your thing, it's not mine. Anyway, Bobby. I know I, I know I better have something. No, we no, we talked about it. We talked about it, and we decided to give each other gifts this year. I don't even remember if we exchanged gifts last year. We were just no, happy to be here. Was, yeah, we're like, yeah. you know, hey, life. <laughs> yeah, and I cook for you every single day. Absolutely, he does. You know, and I stayed around. She stayed around. Yes. Really gives to you. And you know, so I get it. People chase all this superficial nonsense, and they chase themselves right to divorce court. It, it, they absolutely do. I'm not trying to put a damn ring on holiday. Yeah, but I mean, golly, but but the gift giving sometimes, a lot of times, just you know, for what we have learned traditionally, we still sometimes give gifts. So we always give like a list of some of the gifts that are trending or something that you might like. Yeah, you gotta brag about. <laughs> brag about Bobby. Divorce court. Well, you just <laughs> I can't afford it. Anyway, so we're talking about this one here. It's an indoor basketball hoop for kids. Now, we used to have them back in the gap and we'll just go over the door. Yeah. This is the same kind of indoor, over the door mini basketball with LED lights. Thing. Yeah. Ours didn't have LED lights. We had a little Star One basketball that we ended up tearing up a little bit over Friday pizza. Yeah, but these are better. And it's uh, it's got an electronic scoreboard and it costs $36.99 to $49.99. It's not that expensive, under fifty dollars. And then there is an excellent hand massager with a compressor and heating cordless um, electrical massage things inside of the coil thing, whatever it is. Where you, you should see it on the screen, and it's about thirty nine eighty eight. You guys, I highly recommend this um, if you have if somebody works with their hands. I had a chance to get a hand massage this past year and then I came home and I gave Bobby a hand massage and I promise you guys Bobby stop laughing because I thought I thought that the hand massage felt really really good well, no, I, ain't I really anyway cake. I really she made a cake and I had a little butter for okay minutes. Bobby shut up. will you be quiet so I um I suggest this hand massager with the compressor and that I might get that I might I might get that oh, Okay. Next, we're talking about this. This is a hilarious ass gift for those who like to steal at night. <laughs> this is a beanie with the light in it. Bobby, it's a Bluetooth hat. Oh, here's what the thing says on the list here beanie with lights, LED Bluetooth hat with light. Gift from me at $12.99 to $19.99. So if you want to come in a heist, or anything like that, you need a we, bean to pull up your face no. the line on so you can see in the dark. There's your gift right there. We are not promoting that. Okay, well. We are not promoting that. Okay. Number four is a, a game called Kids versus Parents. It's a family game for kids ages four to 12. And it's a cool game that you can play for a family night. Uh, it has about 200 conversation starter cards, and it is 20 
four dollars. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Mini wireless speaker charger, atmosphere, light with wireless charging function, multifunction, RGB, <laughs> night light, and alarm clock. Yes, all that. Charging function, bedroom, bedside lamp. Yeah, and you know what? And I don't even know what the price was. If I if I can remember correctly, a thousand dollars. No, it was about. 30, I think it started at 35 to about For $60. All that? About 30, 35 to about $60. So it depends on kind of. The only thing that I list off is a trip to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Mini wireless speaker. Bobby! Charger, leave that. What is that? Anyway, leave that What's alone. What's the name of it? All these gifts we found on Amazon. So you can look them up on Amazon and then you can pretty much kind of figure out what the name of it is because it has so many different names. And the last For one me. is, and the last one is, um, it's called a Gab Watch, G-A-B-B. -B. But like I said, when I was looking these up, they had similar watches with all kinds of different names. So it was hard for me to kind of put which name went to which but anyway this one is a, a smart watch for kids you guys and if you guys are interested in, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now it has a gps tracker um it's a safe cell phone you can only talk and text and it has parental controls on it there's no social media on it at all and um it's for ages six and up so it's something i know you're not laughing are you laughing again bobby you know what I'm done. I'm done. You read the last one. No, go ahead. No, I'm done. I can't breathe. <laughs> I don't even know what you're laughing about. I'm thinking like a little watch. It doesn't matter. I'm going punch the kid in the face and take the watch. Bobby, actually, is getting drunk from this. I'm not. Because I'm sippy. <laughs> GPS what? I had to wear red lipstick and get hair all in my on my lips. That was just right now. It was too much. As I'm getting lipstick on my nails, shout out to Nails by Larice, who actually did my nails today. I love them. I'm gonna put my the Um, but now we are on to some encouraging words from one of my new co-hosts of the I Am Talitha Kume Show, K with the G. Take it away, Kay. Seasons greetings. It's your girl, K with the G, coming to you live from under my tree with this holiday segment of What It Is and What It Ain't on the I Am Talitha Kume show. First of all, I want to wish you all a happy holiday, regardless to what it is you're celebrating, whether it's Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Feliz Navidad, Happy Hanukkah. Please take a moment and remember the reason for the season. Love on your family, love on your friends. Make sure that you're giving back to the less fortunate. Also, keep in mind that during the holidays, the suicide rate is higher than it is at any other time of the year. So if you have people in your circle that may suffer from mental illness or depression, take a moment to reach out to them and make sure that they are okay. Over this past year as a host on the I Am To The Kume Show, I have had an opportunity to meet so many influential people. And each one of those people are giving back. So in 2024, I would like to encourage everyone to find a local nonprofit. And whether it's through your time or your resources, give back to that organization because it takes everyone to make sure that our communities are running accordingly. As a counselor, career coach, and mentor for subsidized programs for the youth, I understand the importance of giving back to the community. And this upcoming year, there needs to be more focus put on the people. There needs to be more focus put on self-care. There needs to be more focus put on community growth. We may have to do it for ourselves, but if we're all working collectively, then we should see an outcome. Over this past year, there have been so many things that happened, a lot of them involved in tragedy. We've got the war going on in Israel, 
there was a war going on in, in Ukraine. And the whole time, there was no war, according to the media. The I Am Talitha Kume Show expresses what is really going on. We like to touch on things that are being talked about in the community. We want to make sure that we're being as transparent parent as possible but and keeping the focus on what's really happening we've got so many resources that aren't being put to appropriate use and with all the things that are going on in our community with the school shootings the htm that's going on there has to be some way that these things can be addressed and publicly noticed. You know, there's something they said, if you see something, say something. And to me, it looks like no one is saying anything. But I want to encourage you all to join into our show. We air every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not only do we have informative topics, but we also highlight artists. So if you know someone that's a new artist that's looking for some exposure, please have them reach out to me. You can reach me at K2Unique on Instagram. You can reach me also at kgriffithslpc at gmail.com. I want to encourage everyone to tune into my show, What It Is and What It Ain't, every second Friday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can catch it on the Food for the Soul Media Group, or you can catch us on Vegas Hype Media. In this upcoming year, we all need to work together to make things happen. We need to start paying attention to what's going on in our communities, and even more so, what's going on with ourselves. So again, I want to wish everyone a happy, happy holiday and have a wonderful and blessed new year. Thank you so much, Kay. Next, let's talk about cool Christmas movies to binge watch if you haven't seen them already. While you guys are home during the holiday breaks, we actually saw a, well, we, we have a list of I said cool movies, but Bobby, because I'm the one who does the script all the time, Bobby is like, they were all right. And so he's going to have to go along with what I said. We're talking about four that were pretty good and one that did not live up to the hype. And so first, uh, Cooking Up Christmas, you guys. I thought it was a really cute movie. It was about a, uh, a chef who actually ended up um, getting hired by a family to cook for them and kind of get them on the right path. And as we know, as always, as Christmas movies happens, um, she ends up spreading some holiday cheer to the family. They end up falling in love with her and everything, you know, kind of works out the way it works out. But it was a good movie, Cooking Up Christmas. And that was a movie actually we saw on YouTube, I think. So Cook It Up Christmas was a movie that we saw. And I don't, oh, I don't remember any of it at all. I'm sure like it was it. decent. Uh, Lamont, Lamont Rucker was in it. Oh, so I like that. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. All right. Second movie that we recommended as a team. Violent Night. We did. <laughs> we did. Violent Night will probably be number one movie on this list because yeah. of the whole theatrics. Yeah. Was great. I think the one scene in this movie that made it to me, numero uno, was the the kind of Home Alone part in the center that you might see if you watch it. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen it, go see it. And if you are a Stranger Things fans, yes. Hopper stars in the movie. And so um, I, thought, I thought it was really good. And the movie that we saw that did not live up to the hype was Candy Cane Lane. And... I didn't like it. Eddie Murphy can save almost anything to me. Yes. But he didn't save this one. The only reason he couldn't was because of the weird lighting that they had a girl on. I don't know what the... Um, Crazy Ellis Ross? They had, they had Sister Ross under some weird lighting. 
It was yeah. weird dark lighting to me that didn't look like she was even even there. It was just it weird. Just it was it a, too un- it made it uncomfortable for me to watch. And I it, get into it and it was just a dark storyline to me. Yeah. It was a dark storyline to me, and uh, because of the dark storyline, um, like Bobby said, Eddie Murphy couldn't really save it because it just it wasn't Christmassy to me, even though. Violent Night was not a dark storyline. It was a storyline that actually really could have happened. But with Candy Cane Lane, it was just kind of like you kind of turned, you twisted and turned Christmas into something else to me. That was just my personal yeah, it opinion. Yeah, got real yeah. witchy, dude. So, yeah, so if you're going to make a Christmas movie, right. um, either go all the way to the left or all the way to the right. So it was, just, it was difficult for me to get I do appreciate it. all the, all the work that went into that movie, though, like all the film. Yeah. yeah. The, art, the art was great. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was a heavy watch. Yeah, it was hard. So now I want to talk about our favorite non-Christmas movie this year. Since we got off track doing our movie reviews. So this is my list of our top six movies that we saw. It was uh, Leave the World Behind, Netflix, which they hyped all that up. We we might talk about that. We might not. Uh, Then there was The Crowded Room, which is an Apple TV limited series type of movie starring Tom Holland. And then there was Don't Worry Darling on Netflix that we watched. They Clone Tyrone on Netflix that we watched. Avatar, The Way of Water, we saw that at the movies with friends. Sound of Freedom, we saw that at the movies as well. And I just wanted to talk about or figure out which one was your favorite. Like out of all six, which one would you say you were like, heck yeah, they did that? Avatar. Really? That was so long. The movie was so doggone long. It took a lot of work. So Avatar, you like Avatar the best? Great, but that's a lot of work. That draws the hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I think that they used really good um, soft references in there, mm-hmm. um, hard comparisons. Mm-hmm. It made it seem, you know, it was familiar. It's a familiar flick the storyline. I mean, you know, yeah. well, see it really. Mm-hmm. But it was so good. So you would recommend um, if they haven't seen Avatar? Yeah. Go see it. Actually, out of all of those, my favorite would be a toss-up between the Clone Tyrone and the Crowded Room with Tom Holland. I really, I really yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the Crowded Room. I think you fell asleep and then woke up and fell asleep or whatever. It was a really, I want to say it might have been like seven, seven shows in the limited series, but it was a very, very good watch. It, I, I, I tried to figure it out and I think I kind of got it towards the end of the movie but Tom Holland did a bang up job in this movie so if you have Apple TV and you want to see a good movie with a great storyline that you're kind of trying to figure out The Crowded Room is a good movie to go see and I am upset that they didn't they're not talking about they clone Tyrone anymore I feel like it might have been kind of controversial maybe and that was the reason why and I know Jamie Foxx was was sick kind of during the, the release of it and all that other kind of stuff but when I tell you that they clone Tyrone is pretty much a depiction of what is going on in society today like right now if you're not woke after watching this movie you don't pay attention are you having it painted? So I say that if you like movies like that, they clone Tyrone was a pretty good watch. To me. So coming up next, we have our first Christmas selection of the evening with our girl Sirion with the Christmas classic Let It Snow. Yay. Stop. 
stopping And I brought along some corn for popping The lights are turning way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight How I'll hate going out in the storm But if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying And my dear we're still goodbye But as long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight How I'll hate going out in the storm But if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying And my dear we're still goodbye But as long as you love me so Thanks, Sirion. So now y'all know that this part is my favorite part of the show where Bobby gets a chance to showcase his cooking skills in the kitchen by cooking something fantastic for us and flipping a recipe. So while he is doing that, let's get into some holiday cheer from my new co-host of the I Am Believe the Kumei Show, my second new co-host, Miss Silent Truth. Hello beautiful people, it is Solid Truth here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I just want to say good morning, a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It is a beautiful Christmas day, and I want to say happy holidays to those of you who celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. And I want to start off by just giving thanks to the Almighty for being here and having health and wealth and success for this beautiful year. It has been full of highs and lows, ups and downs. So I'm going to start, as I always do, with a word of encouragement just for you. A new beginning is waiting for you. There are so many things you are destined to do. So keep your head up and keep reaching for the stars. Let your light shine. Show the whole world who you are. You are a shining star and your light will shine forever. We can make it through this journey if we only stick together. So raise your voice, sing out loud, shout the words, I am proud to be the one who will never stop and just keep reaching for the top. And when you get there, I'll be there. So don't give up and don't be scared. In my heart, I know you'll make it. So whatever comes your way, just take it. Be determined that you will win because your journey through life is about to begin. Peace and love. I am Solid Truth and I'm always encouraging the world to stay positive, focused, and motivated. So if you are watching me now, you are tuned into the I Am Talitha Kume Show, and I am one of your beautiful co-hosts, and my name is Solid Truth. I'm a motivational speaker, a poet. I'm also a writer and a Girl Scout Truth Leader, a domestic violence survivor, and a domestic violence awareness advocate here in Nevada. 
This year has been full of ups and downs. I know it has been crazy. So I'm blessed that you're still alive and here with me. We wanna definitely give a shout out to all of our teachers who have put up with the students all year long and heading into the Christmas holiday. I know that they are glad for a break, but I just wanna remind you parents to please, please, please make sure that you are being attentive to your children, watching out for any signs of stress and making sure that you're making sure that they're heard because I deal with the little the little students and some of the older ones and I just wanna make sure that there's a gentle reminder there for our parents. We all gonna to work together as a community to make sure our students are ready and prepared for success and that our young people are productive and active members of our community. So it's the double take. So we just want to put a little spin on and kind of give you a little bit of a way to look at things a little bit differently. Although it has been a very stressful year for some, we've had people having new births, we've had people getting new successes on their business, congratulations and shouts out to you. We've got people learning new things, taking classes, getting certificates, and even just traveling. So look back at this year and give thanks for all that you have. And if all that you have is your life, health and strength and the peace and harmony in your home and for your family, then that is so much to be thankful for. And if you do not have it, I'm sending that out to you right now. So with all of that being said, happy holidays to you. My name again is Solid Truth. This is the I Am Talitha Kume Show, and we are looking forward to a successful and productive 2024. Peace and love from Solid Truth. What up? I'm back looking mighty pathetic. It's Alpha Tion. I went to go get me a, a little uh, sleep uniform. Uh, <laughs> at the local Walmart. In the junk, I try to get it out of draw shirts. Pretty pathetic as I look. So let me uh, put on my apron. All right, thanks. Appreciate it, Lisa. Be a lifesaver. Um, anyway, so let's get this cake going. <clears throat> Gotta do all that when you're making the cake is black. <laughs> I'm already. Wait a minute. Let's get this cake going. I've already done the flowers. Um, nine feet cubbies in. It's three cups special. So while I'm getting that flour going, I'm going to go ahead and put a little salt and that in a bowl. I'm going to rest some of the dry ingredients. Dry ingredients, which would be a little bit of baking powder. I got two sweet potatoes. I'm about to de skin, mash these up in a bowl, and mix this in with a lot of butter and sugar. Mm. Oh, these potatoes came out awesome. All right, so we got our flour. We're gonna put that in there. Salt. Pinch of salt. I'm definitely gonna raise this with a cinnamon, just a tad bit, just a little bit of nutmeg. I basically use a spoon to measure everything. I use it to measure this out. <laughs> what it says about a ton of butter for like fourteen dollars. Got a bunch of it in the freezer for like next year. So this bowl I'm gonna introduce a couple cups of sugar. The recipe that the lady was doing the uh, morning required like four cups of that sugar that I'm feeding. For beating this butter. <laughs> this car right here takes a hell of a long time.
beautiful with butter. Mm -hmm. The objective of, of this, I believe, is to start with butter and then start mixing and to end with butter, basically. That's how you know you pretty much got a good set of iron pan. So, let's see. We're going to put it in this school ass pan and make a pretty cool cake. As I was getting all ready to dump this into the pan, I realized my bun pan had a crack. Like it's separated or whatever, so I'm gonna use this terrible pan. I don't think I have big enough for all of this, so yeah, we'll see. I hate this pan a lot. And we're back. If you're just tuning in, I am Talitha Kume. And I'm your boy, Big Bobby B. And you're tuned in to our fourth annual TNB Christmas with Friends special on Food for the Soul Media Group. And before we go any further, you guys, we are looking for sponsors for our I Am Talitha Kume show in 2024. The I Am Talitha Kume show will be keeping you in the know with news you can use, business owners, interviews, dope movie and food reviews, up and coming artists, and some of your favorite performers around Las Vegas. If you would like to be a sponsor, you can cash app us at Food for the Soul or PayPal us at Food for the Soul. So we really couldn't find the movies that we're looking forward to in 2024. And we always do that every year. So we always kind of post and we talk about some movies that we're excited to see. Yeah. And yet, we couldn't. Well, we couldn't find any, but I can tell you this one that we're looking forward to, I'm looking forward to personally. Yes. In 2024 is the release of, drum roll please, <laughs> The Last Temptation. Yes. This is a film that will be premiering next year, and it is a documentary about my father-in-law, to leave his father, Dr. Willie J. Bolton. Yeah. I... I wanted to be able to honor my father's memory by doing a documentary about his life. And I was hoping to do the documentary when he was still here, um, but that wasn't uh, the case, so I'm, I'm doing it now. I just, I love the realism in documentaries and the way that the filmmakers are able to capture real stories about real people, um, you know, living their lives, whether it's a tragic documentary, whether it's a uh, political documentary, whether it's um, a, 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 a save the world or save the animals, whatever it is, documentaries just kind of, they prick your heart a little bit different than any other form of film to me. So. That was our our childhood church and that's where daddy learned a lot about church and serving people and he would do youth retreats and stuff like that. Different. When uh, we went there, dad named it Inland Bible Fellowship. I don't remember when we even started the church. My initial thought that he was a amazing teacher of the word and he loved his members and I was just a visitor seeing this at that time and the first thing I noticed one the amount of young people people my age because at that time I was right at 30 years old turning 31 and there's a lot of young adults between 25 and 40 and um, again his teaching plus people my age can't beat that after this first surgery, I won't forget this, and I and I kind of you know didn't want to say it because I, I felt like um, I didn't want my my other brothers and you know sisters to feel bad 
But you know, when we all went back there individually to his room, he looked at me, he said, son, he said, you my legacy. What did my dad mean to you? <laughs> I didn't want to cry. <laughs> Dr. Bolden meant a lot to me because he was um, the first one, I would say, male figure in my life that was that was really in tune and interested in my growth in Christ. Man. Yeah, I totally was trying. I was try I know y'all probably could hear me trying not to earlier. And I'm like, who don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. That's dope. That's <laughs> all big. Huh? That was pretty official. It gives us the gym look that Yeah. I want to do in the gym and just not going but, uh, but yeah, I'm praying that that's what this would do. I pray that this will give people an eye open about the real man, not well, how we say uh, the man, not, the, not just the legend, <laughs> but the real man uh, who is Dr. Booty Bowl. There's gonna be an awakening from this documentary. Cause even just doing it, I've, uh, you know, I've, my eyes have been more open to just life and how life operates through his eyes. Cause I saw, I could see that. I see now how he can, how he saw things. A little bit of how he saw things based on how he dealt with people that we've got to interview. You know, this is gonna allow pastors to sit their behinds down for a second if they pay attention and let their hair down, unbutton the top button and think. Cause he made some super strong statements like don't sell your family on the altar of ministry. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world. And we've been called out from the world. And the reason why we've been called out from the world because God wants us to reflect his image. Because in many cases, in some people, the only image of the Lord that they will see, they'll never go into the doors of a church. It's gonna be you and I, it's gonna be our lives, amen? We thought, oh see this lie though, right? we thought Back to the Future 4 was coming out with time. Is it a lie? Cause I, I thought when I was looking for 2024 movies, this popped up like several times. So I really was like, oh my God, well, why is gonna be hyped? Because I never heard of it. Uh -uh. This is today. I'm today years old hearing about this. I, I I really was like, oh, Bobby's finna be hype. He's finna really be hype. So Talitha saying it's a fake trailer. Yeah. That's terrible. Yes. Back to the Future 4 with Tom Holland would have been a great movie to watch. Yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was true? So yeah. It was a whole lot of CGI. Nah. Whatever. I mean, if that was Back to the Future, I wouldn't be. It, it was, it, but but it really, there there, the but there are like like four or five trailers, six or seven trailers out there uh, that are promoting Back to the Future. I'm pretty sure it's a good so one. That's why there. I really thought that it was it was coming. But, that you know, wasn't a good trailer. I had, yeah, I had I had to research and find out that it was not coming. And so um, I know that a lot of you are already out at the movies now watching the reimagined version of the color purple. I'll be catching it tomorrow, but I'm hoping that it is just as fabulous as the original because I love musicals, you guys. So we only, we actually only found like maybe about three movies that we, that we want to check out next year. And hopefully they'll start bringing some more and they won't be so dark. So you guys, I'm looking forward to seeing Beverly Hills Cop Four, I think, Axel F2. So almost, this this movie is coming out, you guys, almost 40 years after, after the original hit theaters in 1984. So this movie is after um, his daughter's life is threatened. Wisecracking detective Axel Foley teams up with a new partner and some old pals to turn up the heat on a conspiracy. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, Eddie Murphy, man, he be killing it. Man. Yeah. He was a legend. Yeah. Forever in the Eddie Murphy camera. Yeah. 
So if it's a new movie about an imaginary friend, after discovering she can see everyone's imaginary friends, a girl embarks on an imaginary adventure to reconnect forgotten ifs with their kids. Yes. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. And it seems almost similar to the Slumberland movie that we watched with Jason Momoa, if you remember that, mm-hmm. which is another cool movie that we forgot to mention that we really enjoyed. You I remember did enjoy us that a lot. Enjoying... Oh, he was a gin in that movie. It was great. He was a who? A gin. This movie is featuring Ryan Reynolds, right? Yeah. Which, what is a gin? Why was a gin? Yeah, was man. Good. 100% great. I mean, the second I saw Jean... No, when I saw Van Wilder, uh-huh. National Lampoon Van Wilder, that okay. this is a cat yeah. that I would like to see in film forever. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the world felt the same way. But Ryan Ryan Will. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds is a genius. Yeah. I, I, Ryan I, I, Reynolds is a genius. I like it. And the last one, you guys, uh, kind of controversial, is The Book of Clarence. So, um... It's about a down-on-his-luck man struggles to find a better life for his family while fighting to free himself of debt. Captivated by the power and glory of the rising Messiah, he risks everything to carve his own path to a divine life, ultimately discovering that the redemptive power of belief may be his only way out. And for me, you guys, this was a hard sell for me to even put this on here because I am I, I'm a believer and the first initial response to the to the trailer was like total and utter blasphemy, which is a lot of a lot of podcasters, YouTubers, and all that are saying that it's a blasphemous movie. But after watching the newest trailer um, that we're going to show you, it still feels it still feels that way. But I intend to watch it with a fresh set of eyes and an open mind, only because I feel like. There's always lessons in everything that we view or we see. And I feel like this has a powerful message, even if it wasn't intended to have a powerful you know, message. And a lot of times we, um, as believers, we prejudge a whole lot of stuff. And we don't even take the time to watch the whole thing because we don't even know what the writer or the director is saying. Even though we know that the, the director, I think, is Jay-Z or the producer is Jay-Z. But, um, you know, I want to watch the movie and then give my opinion and let you know if I feel like it's blasphemous and all of that stuff by actually looking at it. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, I plan on definitely going uh, to see it. And then we're going to go back and do one of our, our movie reviews for next year because we're bringing that back. And we'll let you know if I was right or not. So spoiler alert, we will be talking about some of the things that happened in the movie. Well, Bobby still wasn't into the uh, the book of clearance, but I, I, I really intend to watch it and let you guys know what I think. Yeah, we'll have fun with that. I anyway, mean, well, it's time for us to taste what I've prepared. So as I get this ready, let's watch some Fiona Clark. Okay. 
cutie. The same by Fiona will do or two. Just sign your ex on the line, Santa baby. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Come and trim my Christmas tree. Bought at Tiffany. I really do believe in you, but let's see if you believe in me. Santa baby forgot to mention one little thing a ring. No, I don't mean on the phone, Santa baby. Thank you, Fiona. Now I'm ready to try this amazing dessert, please, and thank you. Yes, yeah, so this is here. This cake here is a spice rum sweet potato pound cake. Okay. And so, what did you do different with it? Bobby? Well, I didn't use any Hennessy. Okay. I know that's going to lose me a lot of black points, but I use spice rum. So okay. And I made the glaze out of that. Okay. Uh, the actual cake, I cut down the sugar content by one cup. There's four cups of black beans. Well. While we dig into this cake, here is a taste of what to expect next year on the I Am Toast Information. Mm. That maple ash right though. Oh, this is real vanilla. Really I need some um. Ice cream. I know I need some icing. I need some icing. Mm. Mm. on this journey my whole life because it started with my name Talitha Kume which literally means little girl wake up and I can't say it's been easy there's been a lot of bumps and bruises along the way but I believe life is all in your decision making the I am Talitha Kume show is a combination of things that I love to talk about and I want to enlighten you encourage you and inspire you to be the best you you can be with some help from my guest. Let's talk about it. And we are live here at the Botham Jean Foundation Gala event, you guys. I feel like there are so many people, like you said, that are in pain, some stress or whatever it is, and we're going to the doctor, they're giving us this medication. This medication sometimes is making us worse, sometimes the medication is not working, sometimes the medication has so many side effects. So is there anything that I left? Um, no, other than, uh, my name is pronounced Georgia Nay. Georgia, uh, oh, I was pronouncing that all wrong. Georgia Nay. My bad. I hate, I hate when people pronounce my, my name wrong, too. Tappity Kuma. Uh. <laughs> We all learn to talk, right? Yes. Because it's our nature to pick it up. It's like we pick up words, we pick up language. But That's communicating true. is a deeper concept. Mm. So we learn how to talk, but we don't know how to communicate because communication is spiritual. Communication is spiritual. Never heard that. Yeah. Never heard that. So why is communication considered spiritual, though? Why, why would you say that? Because everything we can see is temporary. Okay. You can't see communication. And I just would love for you to give me maybe five different things that we can do with our money that's kind of easy, and especially if we don't have, you know, a lot of money and then any type of things we can do to earn extra income. The first thing you can do with money is manage it with precision like your life depends on it because actually your life does depend on it right you know your livelihood depends on it do a unique budget every single month right track everything run your house like a business i i am a restoration life coach i'm a certified love coach i'm a essential relationship coach so me building people to be in a more happier state you know is in so embedded in me 
Mm -hmm. Right. Because at the beginning and the end of the day, if we're not happy with ourselves, we don't know who we are. Where are we? What are we doing? If, if you did your crime, you did your time. That should be it. Yeah. How do we move forward and stop? Okay. But, you know, that's the problem. They don't move forward because they're stuck. They don't have the resources that they need in order to get them that job that's yeah. going to get them that apartment. So the next thing they do, they turn back to their old ways. They go well, I'm Capucine Holmes. I'm a um, managing partner, a smart time consultant. I've yeah. been here in the Valley for over 20 years. And um, I've just watched Las Vegas grow and I'm passionate about the community in which I serve. And so I have What's Up Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, I look at Vegas as uh, the land of lit lights, glitz and glamour. I love you like grease fries chicken, like my hands need mittens in the snow. As soon as I got you, I swore I'd never let you go. Oh, and we're back. And if you're just tuning in, I'm Big Bobby B. And I am Talitha Kume, and you're tuned in to our fourth annual TMB's Christmas with Friends special on Food for the Soul Media Group. And as we get out of here, you guys, y'all know that we can't let you go without giving some encouragement for the new year and some good cheer. So our theme for the month on the show has been moving forward. And so I know as believers that we understand that the Bible actually says that things are going to get worse. Like they're going to get a whole lot worse than what we're experiencing now in the world. Um, and I know as we go out of 2023 into 2024, we've all seen a lot of things that have happened this year where we were like, that could never happen. And it actually happened. Um, but I just wanted to touch base on a few Bible verses about these times that I believe we're living in now, um, but also give you some encouragement to know that there is hope and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So Matthew 24, 21, for then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again, which means that things are going to happen that, like I said, we never saw happening or we could never imagine happening. And then 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5 says, but mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, and they will have a form of godliness, but they will deny its power, have nothing to do with such people is what this says so that's a lot and i feel yeah, like I that's feel kind like of going on right, right, so yeah. right now like, that's going right. on at at this moment oh my gosh yeah matthew 24 6 you will hear wars and rumors of wars but see to it that you're not alarmed such things must happen but the end is still to come matthew 24 7 nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Timothy 4 and 1. The Spirit clearly says that later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Which we are absolutely in right now. That is so exactly true. Exactly where we're at. So Joel 2, 28 through 32 says, And afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. Mark 13, 32. And this is a good scripture remembering mm -hmm. all these times and all yes. these times that we hear of and read of mm -hmm. and live through. None of us know. Yeah. But about the day and the hour, 
No one knows, not even angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Absolutely. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. And this is for you believers and for you non-believers to know that you have hope and your loved ones, you will possibly see them again. So for we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him, which is those who have passed away. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. And so the last scripture is Matthew 24, 40 through 41. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left. And so this is really crazy, Bob, because now in 2023, I'm just, I'm unsure that we were quoting this scripture or teaching this scripture correctly. Because in that other scripture where it says that those who are left, it looks like this verse is saying that two men will be in the field and one will be taken and the other left. So I feel like the one who is left is actually the leader. And the one who is taken is not. But well, we've been taught the other way, right? So it's really going to be interesting. But, you know, like I said, we don't know. But so anybody watching this now, right now is a great time to give your life to Jesus Christ. I am always going to say to the naysayers, uh, that say Jesus is a sham, the Bible's not real, heaven or hell is not real, there's no one governing our lives, we are our own gods. Um, just what if? If this is all real and there is a real God, a real Jesus Christ that died for our sins, a real heaven and hell, what are you really losing by saying yes to him today? So you guys, that is my mini sermon for 2023. Um, it didn't cost you a dime. Just a little of your time. Um, and we're about to get out of here, babe. Is there anything that you plan to move forward with in 2024? Yeah, I really plan on being somewhere successfully teaching. Like, okay. I'm going to be scraping the bottom. Uh -huh. I can see that. Um, for me, my plan for 2024 is to really dive into things that I want to tell you guys. So I am embarking on possibly doing another segment of I Am Talitha Kume, the I Am Talitha Kume show, where I really, you guys have been hearing me a little bit just talking about how I want to present some things that are going on around the world that we just, we need to know, man. There's a lot of stuff going on that's hidden. And because we're so invested and so interested and bombarded with like, um, trivial news, entertainment news, stuff that's going on with Diddy, all this other kind of stuff. And it's cool. You know what I'm saying? You're exposing people, or God's exposing people, whomever's exposing people. I get that. But there's stuff that's happening under our noses that we're not talking about just because we're so worried about, you know, who Diddy's sleeping with. Like, who, who cares? Anyway, so that's what I plan on doing in 2024. Um, what did you learn from 2023? Like, actually, from 2020, when we started doing these, to 2023. Is there anything that you have learned since we moved here? I've learned a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've learned to be thankful for what I have. And um, I've learned that all of this material stuff, y'all, it just does not matter. So if you're still following and chasing material stuff, y'all, the pandemic should have taught y'all. We were in the house with all of our material stuff. With nobody seeing what you had on, nobody seeing if your nails was done, nobody seeing if you was wearing makeup, nobody seeing the hottest clothes or whatever you had, it was all in the closet because we couldn't go anywhere. 
and nobody cared. We were just trying to survive. You know what I'm saying? We were happy to be alive. And so for me, I learned that material stuff, you know, even though, you know, it's cool, it's just what it is. Material stuff, you cannot take it with you for real, for real. And um, at the end of the day, um, I got it. Yeah, what matters most is your person, your character, your belief. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I learned. It, it was it was a hard it was a hard lesson to learn too. But yeah, ultimately, this is the best one I could think of. Uh -huh. Ultimately, I learned what being a man was and is. Okay. And you're not a man until you're a man. Well, I am Talitha Kume. And I'm enjoying the Black Beat. And we thank you so much for tuning in. If you did not catch the premiere, we hope you catch the playback. This has been TMB's Christmas with Friends. If you liked something we said or shared, please make sure to share this video for us. Also, while you're here, go on and hit that subscribe button for us, you guys. Our show is sponsored in part by Citrix Soul Films, Move the Barber, Chris Products, Orlay Worldwide, Solid Truth LLC, K Griffiths LLC, C Porter Realty. If you'd like to be a guest on our show or a featured artist, hit us up at www.firstcreates.com and go to the Food for the Soul Media Group tab or email us at Food for the Soul Presents at gmail.com. Yes, that is it. And if you would like to become a sponsor or donate to the I Am Talitha Kume Show, you can cash app us at Food for the Soul um, or PayPal us at Food for the Soul. You guys. So here's our last artist of the evening, Miss Lachey G with Silent Night. And we're out. See you guys. Next Peace. Week. Silent night holy night all is coming no is bright round round young Mother and child, oh, holy infant, so tender, tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, peace. I love, I read.